Hello, how are you? I hope you're doing well. I hope that this video can help you sleep just a little bit better. Now what I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes. Relaxing. Relaxing. Closing your eyes. Closing your eyes. Okay. Now I want to start off by lighting this candle for you. To help you sleep a little bit better. Okay. Now I'm going to name some of the planets that I know out of the top of my head. Starting with Earth, the Sun, Mars, Pluto, Neptune, Saturn, Uranus. I can't remember all of those. Just listening to my voice to go to sleep. You mostly rambling, rambling, rambling for you. So, just following the candle slowly with your eyes moving left and right. Okay. As an individual can sleep and resurrect most of us, as I thought, you're really going to sleep now, going to sleep, going to sleep, going to sleep. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit for you. So that you can go to sleep a little bit better now. Okay. So, as a civilization is, civilization can help you in your particular aspirations for your sleep rest time, your sleep rest time that it is very important slowly experiencing this candle lit through your ear through your smell smelling senses that you haven't smelled before but not to be critical just to ignite in your errors because I know there's Gemini, Aries, and all those other February explosives that you might in particularly have. So, to light this candle and to have a visuality of your dissecting perceptives that you might have and might cause you to sleep a lot better with the smoke coming just around into your senses, smells, ears, hearing, taste and smells that I think that you might have and to just go to sleep by following this light that I have on me. Most of the lights are ignited and made, and in particular, this one can help you fall asleep by following and just closing your eyes and feeling immune, feeling that it can look its 
used for makeup this beautiful brush here and it feels quite soothing which I use to sleep so I'm kind of like weird by the end of the night but in the end though Lighting the candle and just being makes just for a little bit on seconds, which can lead to deep breaths for the mind and body. So, I hope you are doing well. I hope you are doing good. And Rambling is something that I like to persist and do actually and perhaps it can help you out just a little bit and just sleep. Can't really see the candle, can you? Uh, let me turn this up a little bit. So it is really quite something that helps ease the mind and the smell and the noise of the candle smoking smoking yeah. smoking yeah. smoking now you're probably wondering if I can spell out a few of the names or I can spell it as a Sagittarius. Let's try that one. Sagittarius. A S A G I T A R I U S. Do I spell that correctly? Let me know. Just focusing on different triggers. I had this mic here, but it doesn't sound very well. We can just test it out. I also put a little bit of something there. Hold on. I also put a little bit of something there to see if the mic will help and not sound so well it's fully loud prodigy to the readings that I can tell you a little bit so I hope that the whispering can help you just a little bit Just helping you to go to sleep. Since this is quite a bit of a loud mic, but I think it would do. It's the pop solo one. I guess it wasn't the best mic to have. But it surely does help relax some of the whispering and go to sleep too. It helps quite a lot to sleep with. So, I hope that you can get well rested. 
talking about what's next to come in your era. I believe I am aware of the Aquarius term. If I spelled it right, let me know. A Q U A R I U S Aquarius with an A after the U I think. I'm not sure. Mm, but I can control that most people like to go out and go on treadmills. So it's a good way of exercising the body and relaxing the mind and treadmills to work to an appropriate cost when you really think about it it can protract it is most of it in your mind instead but I'm fond of it because I used to use one So that will have to include most of it for the most part. So most things about the Aries and the Gemini and symbols are required by someone who decided to name the year of their birthday with an ugly name. So I think and I didn't really follow along with the Aquarius because it's part of the Pisces for the for every generation. And I most likely do not follow both. Mm, to be exact, yeah. So, most likely, I just want to, well, ease you out of it by following the light. because I thought it would be a good addition since it helps it stay steady and down. So, what are your virology senses for this summertime? Summer is quite Interesting. What is your favorite weather? Whether it's winter or summer. My favorite weather would have to be the winter and the summer. Summer gets so hot. But I will involve more swing and post go for swing perhaps do the same. So follow the light. Follow the light. Okay. So you are fond of most things that you like to do and you seem to get along a lot like me speaking for myself I started ASMR and this is an ASMR video to just go to sleep to my rambling again I'm going to light up the candle just a few inches away like I ran 
hand. So, well, this is the thing. Let me see if I can. Um, yeah, see what I can write. So, most fellows and follow what he called the Mrs. Harris, which is has to do with their birthday month and I didn't because Pessy's in Aquarius is an astrological name that has nothing to do with my birthday. I think the names are really really ugly for Pisces and Aquarius. I'm not too fond of it. Just a smoking of it. A smoking of it. And so, when there's nothing else to ramble on, I just mumble on a little bit. Which I think that there is a lot to ramble about. Um, Also, that summertime you can go to your own pool or you can go to the beach. I prefer staying at my pool because there's not many people that go to pools as much as the people that go to the beach and I think that I'm really lucky that I get to have my own pool and swim in it and just enjoy my time which is very very interesting and I am very much likely to just stop going to the beach at all to just stop going to the beach follow the light so i'm not very much fond of it and um more this candle really got burnt yeah, as you can see, wax, I think the candles are made out of wax, and it really is something that I like, especially the smell to it, which is apple cinnamon, you can read that, apple cinnamon, apple cinnamon. So if you've ever been familiar to it, let me know. So, reading the characteristics of an astrology astronomer that they put as an astronomer. Um, it's not really related with the names that they gave to most of it. The Aries was a little more of a nicer name. The Sagittarius was m mostly for a lighter name that they supposed to be named your birthday after a month and gave it the most name of uh, names of the stars that planet has in store for us but that's not really appropriate for someone who I guess was an astronomer and of course you will give your birthday the best name 
as I believe so. Thanks. Let me know what your favorite name was for those sign symbols. <coughs> Which I'm not trying to offend at all for those that name the astronomy symbol of signs after the birthday month. And it did have to do with astronomy. Um, I believe that I was in my mother's room by January, but a lot of people say it was February. January and February is a close month, and I also thought that my birthday would be one of those months, but I do celebrate my birthday on a specific day. So I think that's really cool. I hope that this video actually helped you go to sleep. I'm glad that this video helped you a lot. Well, that was it for this ramble, rambling of astronomies and civilization. So, I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Okay.